Hi there, I'm Jeremy Cruz and this video is for Premiere users. I'm going to give you a quick startup guide to Final Cut Pro 10. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open Final Cut Pro. Now that we have Final Cut open, this is equivalent to the project window in Premiere. And this right here is called a library file. And the library file is basically equivalent to a project file in Premiere. I rename this Final Cut Pro X Tutorial. Right now this is just saved in movies. And if you change the title, let's say hello, it also changes it here. So this is basically your project file, but it's called a library. So again, I'm going to change this back to Final Cut Pro X Tutorial. And under the library, you have what are called events. And these are the main folders within your library. I'm going to title this one, 319, um, random. So we have this random event folder here. And then I'm going to import, and then I'm going to find some video clips to import. So let's go over to some of my video files. So here I have a folder called footage and inside that folder are three other folders, Sony RX100, GoPro, GoPro and drone. And I'm just gonna drag the footage folder directly into Final Cut Pro where it says import media. Importing, 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 importing. So now that the footage is imported, I'm going to click the expand button here on this random event folder. And as you can see, the folders in here correspond to the folders from this footage folder that I dragged into Final Cut Pro X. So basically what these, they're called keyword collections. Yeah, uh, Final Cut automatically organizes your keyword collections according to the names of your folders. So this contains all Sony RX100 footage, this contains all the GoPro, this contains all the drone footage, and then this footage folder contains all the footage in these three folders. And whenever you click the event folder, it'll include everything that's under it in this window where you can view the clips. And to view clips, you can just scroll over them like this. So for me, 4K footage scrubs through just fine. I don't know if you can, when, with my screen recording, it's not as, I don't know, but within Premiere, I could never do this. All right, next thing, sequences. In Final Cut, sequences are called projects. So I'm gonna click new project, and let's title it big butts and it's going to be in the event random um 1080p whatever frame rate you guys can do that rendering okay All right now i got a sequence here or project it's called a project so basically the timeline i have the timeline here and that timeline is saved up here in random all the way at the top Let's scroll all the way up there so it's here and usually i like to create a new keyword collection for projects, so I just title it projects, drag that project thing in there. So whenever I click projects, it's in here. So let's say I have version one, then I can duplicate this project if I want another version. So like version two is in projects. So, so this is Big Butts one sequence. And now, Let's just go over a little bit how this works. So you can scroll through here. I'm gonna press I for endpoint. And the playing is pretty similar to Premiere. You press spacebar to play. You can also press the J and L keys to fast forward, etc. So let's say, and you can also shift I to go to the, your endpoint. <laughs> I'm gonna put an up, out point with O. Then I'm gonna hit E. What E does is puts a clip into the timeline after all the clips in the timeline. So I'm gonna put this another endpoint here and out. Press E again and see that it adds after the clip. No matter where my cursor is, even if my cursor is here, let's 
put it, let's try putting in another one. So let's say I have this. Okay, and if I press E, it's gonna add it to the end again, as you can see here. All right, now another way of putting it. So I'm, I'm gonna teach you Q now. So I have this here, do another in and out point. So out point there. And now wherever the cursor is, if you press Q, it's gonna put that clip on top of your footage. And then the next one is W. So we have Sleeping Beauty here in an out point. Now if I press W, it's gonna put that clip right where your cursor is in between everything. And then an one of the most confusing things at first from Premiere is, okay, so how in the world do I make a blank space? See, if you drag over here, it's just like, oh my gosh, it clicks, it like magnetically goes back to there. So if you, so right now we're using the select tool, which is A. I'm gonna switch to the position tool, which is P. And now if I move this over, it's gonna stay where it is and create this blank space here. I'm gonna press A again to go back to the select tool. And now I'm just gonna show you what all these things are. This is where your effects are. Okay, we got transitions over here. And when you have a clip, clip selected, these are all your video effects in here. This is coloring, your coloring tab. So we can add color wheels, master, shadows, mid-tones, highlights. Pretty similar to other programs. You got your curves, if you want to do curves. So there's your curves, red, green, blue. You got your hue saturation curves here. And there's also a LUT thing that you can put on. You can find that. You can find that by playing around within the effects menu. Uh, you click this menu over here. This is your music and sound effects tab. This is your title tab. And this is the project window tab right here. This is your export button here. <laughs> Okay guys, anyways, that's, that was a really quick, short tutorial of Final Cut Pro 10. This is geared more for experienced Premiere Pro users. Hopefully this helped at least a little bit to get started with Final Cut Pro 10. Maybe you've, you've heard that it's faster. The reason why I use it is because I can scrub through footage really fast, even 4K footage. And it, with, and then once it's in the timeline, I can add so many effects and it plays just fine and exports really fast. So it's really sped up my workflow with editing. Um, let me know what you think. If you're confused or have any other questions, let me know. Um, anyways, that's it for this really quick, brief tutorial about Final Cut Pro. See you next time. Make sure to subscribe for more videos or... All right, anyways, see you next time. Bye-bye.